What's going on guys, it is Glake here, back with another video, some Animal Crossing related content for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about the whole Build-A-Bear collection madness uh, that has sort of been taking place throughout the last couple days here. So if you guys aren't familiar with the whole Build-A-Bear collection, Animal Crossing related collection that I guess just was released, so basically about a month ago, March 10th I believe, which was the official release date, uh, Build-A-Bear and the Animal Crossing social media pages announced that they will be crossing over and Build-A-Bear would be releasing what I guess is a limited time. Animal Crossing New Horizons themed collection of Build-A-Bear uh, plushies or figures I guess you can call them. I don't know if they're considered plushies or plushies or however you pronounce it because I guess these are made with like different material. Plushies are kind of like beans. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the huge difference between the two. I'm just going to call them figures for now. Yeah, what, what would you actually call them? I don't even know. I'm just going to call them Animal Crossing Build-A-Bear. So anyway, they announced that they would be doing a uh, limited time Animal Crossing themed Build-A-Bear characters. This is huge because Build-A-Bear, if you guys don't know, is like a huge freaking company, especially over here in the US. I don't know how it is in the UK and over in Asia or whatever and um, you know everywhere else around the world. But in the US, I know it's, it's a huge thing. It's been a huge thing for the longest time. And uh, I guess over the years, they've actually been branching out a lot. Uh, they've been, you know, shops have been popping up all over the place. Uh, there is one where I live actually inside of the Mall of America, which that has been there for a very long time. But the shops over the years have been kind of rare, but now more locations are beginning to pop up everywhere. But anyway, this was an online, the, or this is an online deal currently that they announced. So um, basically the collection was, uh, was announced back in March. So we knew it was going to happen back in March. We really didn't have any other details about exactly when we can expect it, which characters were going to be included. We just knew that the company was crossing over with Animal Crossing. They were going to be making Animal Crossing product sometime, uh, early this year. Fast forward to this week, they finally announced that, Hey, this whole collection thing is going live. Uh, this week, Tuesday morning, they announced a time for a digital waiting queue, uh, which was 9.30 central. Basically said that it's going to be available online, it's an online only thing for now, and they would be bringing the collection to their, uh, you know, in-store locations later this summer. So fast forward to this morning, actually let me back up a little bit, fast forward to last night, even despite the announcement, we really didn't have any information about which characters were going to be available to purchase. They honestly didn't tell if it, it tell us any of this stuff. All they said was, hey, the collection is going live uh, tomorrow, which is Tuesday the 6th. Like, get ready, there's going to be a queue. A lot of people were upset from the get-go because we really didn't know who was going to be available. But here's the kicker, though. So some people were messing around on the website, messing around with the search bar, and found out, hey, if I search up this Animal Crossing character's name, this specific Animal Crossing character's name, uh, and hit enter, the website may or may not take me to the Animal Crossing collaboration related page. Some entries would just give you an error, give you a no search results uh, found sort of message. And we found out actually that from doing that, it turns out that it seems like they have other characters in the works for the collection. And a lot of people thought the characters that would pop up when you searched were actually going to be the characters that were going to be available when the thing launched uh, yesterday. At the time I'm recording this, it was yesterday. But fast forward today, this morning, the whole waiting online queue was just all over the place. Honestly, I think the thing went live at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock central. Places were, were reporting 9.30 was supposed to go live, but as far as what I could find, it, it started at 10. It may have actually started at 9.30, but I mean, there was, they didn't, post a link for me to click on until 10 o'clock. I didn't see a link posted until around 10. So yeah, I mean, it seems like it, most people were able to get one, get a character that they wanted. So it turns out that it was only Nook and Isabel, the only available characters for today, which is super freaking unfortunate because honestly, those two characters were like the ones that we kind of all expected, but it, they weren't, they're, they're not the characters that we wanted. Like, come on, Nintendo has been doing Isabel and Tom Nook like, you know, plushies and, and, and just figurines themselves for years. It's just like, come on, we want we want other villagers, we want other characters from the franchise, and this is what they gave us. They gave us Tom Nook and Isabel, the most basic, the most black and white characters you could have possibly launched your collection with. I understand you should probably choose really popular characters that everybody knows first. I get it. But honestly, it was sort of a letdown, especially because 
of the night prior. We've had a whole list of characters that the website was, you know, kind of sort of hinting at were going to be available, just to give you guys some off the top of my head. There was Fauna, there was Raymond, there was Audie, who else was there? There was Stitches, um, and I think there was a couple more characters. Bob was one of them. There were a couple more uh, that the website was pointing, like when you would type those names up into the search bar, the website would actually take you to the collaboration page rather than giving you an error could not be could not be found and then when you would search other characters you would get the error so it was kind of just you know it was kind of sort of the website just hinting that hey these characters are going to be available at some point but unfortunately they weren't available during the launch yesterday however it seems like they're definitely going to be in the works are uh, definitely going to be coming soon probably in the summer when they launch a collection at their irl stores because somebody actually tweeted at them I'm pretty sure they're going to take a page out of the Pokemon collection and add new characters as time goes on, maybe. I don't work for either company, so I can't say for definite, but it's it would seem likely, and Build the Bear responded with a winky face. So, I mean, come on, it's pretty obvious they're going to add more over time. It's just, this whole thing is like, it's just in general, the whole thing was kind of disappointing, just because the transparency between, you know, the AC community and, you know, between the AC community and the build a -Bear company themselves was just super slim. And especially because, you know, Nintendo kind of just sat out of this whole thing and just retweeted everything that build a -Bear tweeted pretty much. It was just really unfortunate because a lot of people were really expecting there to be at least, <laughs> at least three characters. Like, come on, only two? You can't really call it a collection if it's only two characters available at launch. So this is this whole unfortunate thing, and I feel like the Animal Crossing community in general has just been taking L's throughout the past couple months. I mean, we haven't been getting the updates we wanted. Like, updates have been kind of lackluster. There's the whole Sanrio scalper madness that happened a couple weeks ago, and now this. Uh, so we gotta wait a little bit longer to get our hands on Build-A-Bears for the characters that we actually want. You already know, I'm about to cop that Raymond, probably will cop me, I don't know. I should probably grab Bob, but like, I don't know, like, what, they really had to choose Bob. Bob is only popular because he's basically a meme AC character at this point. He's honestly just a, a meme character, like, come on, you're gonna tell me more people would prefer Bob over, over Punchy or over Kiki? Like, get out of here. There's, there's just no way. But anyway, for you guys who want a little bit more details on the actual Build-A-Bears, so basically how these things work are, they're about this big, or at least from the pictures, they look about this big. Can I even, like, show on camera? They're about this big. I mean, they're pretty sizable, uh, they're pretty sizable Build-A-Bears. They're pretty si sizable figurines or plushies or whatever, and, you know, they have, like, a speaker inside of them, and they all make different noises. So, basically, when you squeeze them, they have their little animal like, talking, and then... They're paired with uh, some theme music, which is the AC&H theme music, like the intro music that we've all come to know and love over the past, what, two years now? So, I mean, it's pretty basic. I'm just glad that they didn't give them actual voices, like, speaking in English. That was kind of my concern, because when I heard, oh crap, they have phrases, I was like, please don't tell me it's like some random dude or some random chick, like, talking through the thing. I was I was really happy that they just talk in their animalies, like, it's really cute. So yeah, I mean, that is how the whole sound thing works. They're running for, or they, they're going for $51, I think. 50 or $51, so they're pretty expensive, and... I was planning on buying three if they actually launched with the characters or the villagers that I wanted. I was planning on getting Fauna, Raymond, and probably one other. Probably would have been Audie. Oh yeah, that's right. Audie was on there. I don't know if I mentioned Audie. Was uh, one of the ones that the website was hinting towards being a part of the collection. So I was planning to get those three, but when I saw $51, I was like... There's just no way. <laughs> There's just no way. That's really expensive. Yeah, I'm not all too familiar with how much Build-A-Bears usually go for, but $51 is pretty steep. Honestly, it's pretty steep. Like, that's a lot of money. Like, two of these will run you over $100. So, yeah, you better you better think carefully about which one you want to adopt for sure, especially when the full collection comes out. There's going to be a lot to choose from. And assuming they're going to be adding even more after the summer, oh, man. Oh man, I'm just, I'm gonna want so many, like, assuming they put in Punchy, that's already $100 right there, I gotta have Raymond, I gotta have Punchy, like, there's no way I could choose one or the other, one over the other, I've gotta have both, so that's 100 that's over 100 right there. Isabel, Tom Nook, they get set out, like, it's the generic characters at this point, they're just overused, you see them everywhere, I don't need them, but, yeah, Raymond and Punchy, definitely gotta have them, so anyway... That's kind of the whole gist about what has been going on with the whole Build-A-Bear Madness. 
So if you guys weren't able to get one yesterday, chill out, relax. These things are going to restock. They're going to be available in store in the summer. You're probably going to want to wait and save your money anyway once more characters are available. Unless you really freaking love Isabel and Tom Nook to the point where like you will choose them over any other villager, any other character in the game. Then go ahead, you probably want to wait for the online restock. I'm pretty sure that their website is going to restock a couple more times before the full collection launches during the summer. If you're trying to get your hands on these but you don't live in the States, I believe they are available in on the UK site. And for those people who are in Canada, you can actually purchase from the US store and I believe they will ship to Canada as well. So can't really speak on anywhere else if you live anywhere else in the world just i can't really find any other information on that but i'm pretty sure they're not going to be that hard to get honestly at some point like once once the full collection comes out i'm pretty sure they're going to be available pretty much worldwide so just keep your eyes out if there's any other huge further developments regarding the whole build a bear animal crossing new horizons crossover i'll be sure to try my best and cover it on this channel with that in a dedicated video but that's pretty much all i want to talk about today was the build a bear stuff that's kind of the talk of the town in the AC verse right now, uh, since uh, Sanrio stuff has kind of died down over the past couple weeks. So I just wanted to touch on this a little bit. Hopefully, this was informative. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, sub to the channel if you haven't uh, done so yet. I do other stuff on here other than AC content, but I am trying to get at least one AC related video out. Uh, a week. I still have to do my bigger, more sizable AC video pretty soon, which is supposed to be covering what I think their update roadmap is going to be for the game for 2021. So it's probably going to be my next main big AC video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, you guys keep on gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.